Hello, and welcome to Storytime. It's Terry Joe. Today's story is Howard B. Wigglebottom and the Monkey on His Back. This is a tale about telling the truth. In my Rise and Shine Beloved, we're learning about chakras, and today is the throat chakra, so this is a perfect story for that because the throat chakra is about communication, self-expression, integrity, truth, honesty, things like that. So let's see what our lovely spirited friend Howard B. Wigglebottom is learning about telling the truth. Today is show and tell day at school and Howard B. Wigglebottom brought his pet mouse. Oh cool, said Allie as she opened the cage to get a closer look and accidentally let the mouse escape. Who let the mouse out, cried Miss Bertha. Look at her standing on the table. Whoopsie. Uh. <clears throat> the latch doesn't work very well. He gets out all the time, Howard told his teacher. Howard had a choice to make, and telling the truth might get his good friend in trouble. Later at recess, Howard swung the bat and hit the ball really hard. The ball flew over the fence and hit a car, smashing the headlight. Who broke the headlight? demanded the angry driver. Everyone looked at Howard. He had a choice to make. He was afraid of the stranger. I don't know who did it, he answered. That afternoon on the bus, Nancy bragged, my papa is a rich doctor who saves lives. What does yours do? Howard paused. <clears throat> he had a choice to make. His father had just lost his job. Shh, don't tell anyone, said Howard. My father is the spider bunny. Howard made the wrong choice. On the way home, his brothers and sisters dared him to race. Howard had a choice to make. He knew he would come in last. And this is what he said. Lately, when I run, my ears spin so fast, I fly like a helicopter, said Howard. It wouldn't be fair, so go ahead without me. Howard made the wrong choice. Later in the day, his mother asked, where are your shoes? Hurry, you'll be late for soccer practice. Howard didn't want to go to soccer practice, so he hid his shoes. He wasn't very good at soccer, and he didn't like all that running. He had a choice to make. I can't find my shoes. I guess I can't go, said Howard. Here, wear these and get ready, said his mother. I guess she's this is funny. Howard made the wrong choice. Look at the shoes his mom gave him. Isn't that funny? Even though a little voice in Howard's head kept telling him that lying was wrong, it was getting easier and easier for him to do. So he was not ready for what happened next. Papa Wigglebottom had a favorite chair that the children called the money chair. Sometimes coins from Papa's pocket would fall into the chair. Every Sunday, the first bunny awake would race downstairs to find the coins. The deal was that whatever was found had to be shared equally among all his brothers and all the brothers and sisters. On Sunday morning, Howard ran downstairs before anyone else. He dug into the chair and there were two large 50 cent shiny pieces, shiny 50 cent pieces. These are really cool. Maybe I should just keep them for myself, thought Howard, as he shoved them deep into his pocket. At breakfast, Papa asked, did anyone find any coins in my chair this morning? All the kids shook their head in disappointment. Howard had a choice to make and said, no money this week, Papa. Papa looked sadly at Howard for a long time. Howard made the wrong choice.
Howard had a bad feeling about himself for a long time. He couldn't sleep at night because all of all of his lies, especially the one he had told his papa. He kept seeing his father's face over and over again and thinking about how sad he looked. The lie felt like Howard had a monkey on his back. Has any of you ever had that feeling where you know you did something bad, you know you did something and you lied about it, and then it weighs heavy on you? like a monkey on your back or like some weight on your back. I know I've had that feeling. The next morning Howard woke up, he was feeling worse. He knew he had to tell the truth, but he was scared. It was it would make his father even sadder. So he didn't say anything. This made the monkey on his back get bigger and bigger. At the end of the day, Howard was feeling awful about all of his lying. Finally, he listened to the little voice in his head, his conscience, and that told him it was wrong to lie. He decided to tell his father the truth. Howard made the right choice. That night, as soon as Papa came to the door, Howard told him everything. I've been I haven't been truthful lately, and he began, began to cry. I don't have helicopter ears. I hid my shoes. I found the coins in the chair. I lied to you and everyone else. I'm so sorry. Oh, and you're not the spider bunny. He let all of that off of his chest, telling his dad the truth about how he lied. Howard was surprised the monkey was gone. It felt so good to finally listen to his little voice and be brave and tell the truth. Howard made the right choice. He says, poof, the monkey was gone. Now, now there wasn't literally a monkey on his back, just that heaviness that you feel when you keep thinking about when you did something you need to tell the truth about. That's what they're referring to. Howard, I'm very proud of you, said Papa. You feel much better about yourself when you tell the truth. Lying makes you unhappy and have bad feelings about yourself. No one will trust you or like you if you lie to them. Let's make a list of people you need to apologize to and ask to forgive you. Promise yourself that from now on you will make the right choice even if and when you feel scared. Howard felt good when people liked and trusted him. From that moment on, he understood that if he listened to the little voice in his head and didn't lie, the bad feeling himself in himself would never ever come back. Neither would the monkey. He was very glad about that. Everett, Howard never wanted that monkey on his back again. The end, and then there's a little lessons in here and reflections. I want to say something about that last line that he wanted to be liked and trusted. In my experience, when we tell the truth, sometimes we're not liked. So we have to be okay with that. But what I will say, um, because I really have, I feel in this lifetime, truth and integrity and honesty are big um, parts of my experience. They're almost demands that I have in friendship and in relationships. Um, the quickest way to lose my trust in you. I wouldn't say lose me, my love, because I, I don't feel I'm that conditional with love, especially now, but um, is to lie to me. If you lie to me, I'm not going to trust you. And, I, and a lot of us, because we're more attuned now, we can sense when someone's being dishonest or inauthentic, I'll say. And a lot of this lying is not even intentional um, it's from such a deep place of wounding that people don't even know they're lying or they've become so habitual at it um, that it's unconscious. So I can make space for it, but um, it really impedes intimacy and connection. So find ways to be honest and be willing to lose friends in your honesty. Um, that doesn't mean you have to go around telling them every thought in your head or tell them, telling them criticisms you think, but um, tell them how you feel about things, you know, and um, share ideas, be brave, use your throat chakra.
Okay, so that was our story for today. Howard B. Wigglebottom got the monkey off his back by telling the truth. I hope you have a truthful day. Bless you.